Okay, let's move on with the next quantity. So this is dose equivalent or this is symbolized by capital letter H. So this is defined as the product of absorbed dose and the radiation weighing factor given the formula H equals D. This is for absorbed dose and this is for the radiation weighing factor. For every type of radiation, there is a weighing factor. Uh, by the way, class, in some other books, if the absorbed dose is the radiation received by the patient, so the dose equivalent refers to the dose that is received by the radiation workers. Okay? Ayun, yun yung pinakakaibahan nila. Okay, so, but in radiation protection, we can also define, pwede magamit ang dose equivalent, pwede magamit sa, sa patient. Pero for now, I will give you, I will bring you to the concept that dose equivalent is a dose that is received by the radiation workers. Do not forget, ha, absorbed dose, that refers to the patient, and dose equivalent, that refers to the radiologic technologist or radiation worker in general. So when we say dose equivalent, so the SI unit is in terms of Schivert, capital letter S, small letter V, and the traditional unit is in REM. So pansin na that, so REM, small letters R, E, M, small letter R represents radiation, small letter E is uh, represents equivalent and small letter M is for men. So REM stands for radiation equivalent men. So this is our conversion factor. For everyone shivered, there are 100 REM. Or for everyone shivered, there are 10 raised to 2 REM. Okay, so now we can convert from the SI going to traditional or the other way around, traditional going to SI. Sige nga, let's try these exercises. Number one and number two. And again, I hope you will bear with me and watch the following videos in five, four, three, two, and one. Action! Mali. So I see here, we are to convert 17.5 millisievert into kilorem. This is the SI unit and this is the traditional unit. Okay, so uh, copy our given 17.5 millisievert. Okay, copy our unit as denominator. Parang ano lang sa mean as a friend. And then, put the mother unit or the shiver. So, hain da ko, is it na mili shiver or the shiver? Okay, so mas da ko shiver. So, from, for every one shiver, there are 10 raised to 3 mili shiver. Or 1,000 mili shiver. 1,000, mga nan mili. Okay, so, cancel natin mili shiver. So, what remains is shiver. So, now we are going to uh, po, uh, convert the SI into a traditional unit. So, shivert going to REM. So, uh, for every one shivert, we know that there are 100 REM. Okay, cancel natin shivert. So, copy natin ni REM. And then, butang natin ang atong unit na gusto gin or ginahanap which is kilo REM. So, hain da po. Is it rem or kilo rem? Of course, nas da po hi kilo rem. Okay, so for every 1 kilo rem, there are 1,000 rem. Or 10 raised to 3 rem. Okay, so cancel natin rem. So, combine all the whole numbers and combine all the exponents. So, 17.5 at on whole number. How about exponents? So, in our numerator, we only have one exponent that is positive 2. Okay, so combine all the exponents in the denominator. So, 3 plus 3, that, will, that is 6. 
So, change the sign from positive, magiging negative. So, negative 6. Copy our unit, kilorem. Okay. So, 17.5 times 10. So, positive 2 plus negative 6 magiging negative 4 kilorem. But, we are to express our answer into the test form. So, we are to change or to move the decimal point going to the left. Which means, magiging masarani na siya at atong decimal. So, kaiba kay san kanina. Which means, iibanan nato ng atong decimal by 1. So, that will become 1.75 times 10 raised to the negative 3 kilorem. Masayon, Makuri. Masayon na. You can do that. So, adi naman kita, we are to convert 12.2 millirem into microshivert. So, from traditional, going now to SI unit. So, first again, we are to copy our given. 12.2 millirem. Here, ito pwede mawala. Now, copy our unit as denominator. So, millirem to rem. Ah, hindi rin maigog niya ito akong ginihin mo. So, hain da ko? Rem or millirem? Very good. So, mas da ko si rem. For every one rem, there are 1,000 millirem. Cancel and cancel. Rem. So, from traditional, going now to, of course, the SI. Araman kita nga for every one shivert, there are 100 rem. So, cancel natin ni Rem. What remains is shivert. So, shivert going now to our, or the unit that we wanted to come out. The micro shivert. Again, hain dako, shivert or micro shivert? So, mas dako si shivert. We, uh, for every one shivert, there are 10 raised to 6 micro shivert. So, cancel natin si shiver. So, combine all the whole numbers and combine all the exponents. Ganyan lang yan, class. So, usaman lang natin whole number. We only have 12.2. So, how about our exponents? So, sa numerator, we only have 1, positive 6. Okay, so combine all the whole numbers or I don't know. All the exponents in the denominator, so 3 plus 2, that is positive 5. So as a rule of thumb, we, have, we are to change the sign of the denominator, then proceed to addition. So magiging negative 5. Copy the unit, micro -shiver. So that will be 12.2 times 10. So, 6 plus uh, negative 1, that is positive 1. Pero it's a no-no na isusurat mo dida si positive 1. So, it's understood pag 10 may positive 1 siya. So, simplify our answer. So, 12.2 times 10. Move muna la decimal to the right. So, that will become 122 microshiver. Okay? Okay.